Hey, my crafty cuties. All right, so I thought we'd do another Watch Me Sew. And I have taken out a, a subscription from Annie's Quilt, Quilt Club. And I am doing this Christmas sampler. I've never done a sampler quilt. And I'm way behind. As you can see, this is block one because, you know, I, ha I had the whole gallbladder thing. I was sick. I had surgery. So I'm far behind and I'm catching up. And I thought I would bring you guys along for the journey. So we're going to do block one. And again, this is Annie's. Can y'all see that? I think you can. Christmas sampler and whirly days is the block that we're going to do. And I'm going to lay it down because I think you guys can see it better from right here. And I can turn it orient it the right way. So this is the actual quilt when it's all put together. I think it's so stinking cute. And then this is the block. Let me get it over here. This is the block we're going to be making today. So I have all my pieces cut and we're ready, I do believe, to get started. All right. So let me kind of fold this up so I can look at my directions. All right. So, I did end up boo-booing. I did. Miscut this fabric, and I ended up having to piece it together. If you can see that. So, you know, if you're wanting to do one of these blocks of the month, and you think, oh my gosh, I'm not doing it because I'm going to totally mess things up. Well, looky here. I messed things up. But you know what? It'll be all right. It's going to be a-okay. All right, so on this, we need to draw a line from corner to corner on the wrong side of B, which this is B. I could have put my alphabetes on here. So let's draw our line from corner to corner. So I gotta get caught up. Um, way what? Not way, way far behind, but I'm three months. Four months, three months behind, I think. Where'd that, where'd that lid go? Did y'all see where that lid went when I popped it up? Oh, it's way back over here. Okay. So, we're going to draw our line from corner. Cut. So, I'm trying a new setup with my phone. And to get you guys down in here just a little closer, hopefully you can see. The only thing you can't see me pressing, but you will be able to see me sewing. So I'm just trying out different things. I moved my, my machine way to the left. My husband built me this fantastic table. And um, I have a lot of room on it, but there's a lip on this left-hand side. Sorry, apparently I can't draw a line and talk at the same time. So there's a lip on this left-hand side that I can put the mount that I'm using to hold my phone right here. You know, it's never too early to do anything for Christmas. So y'all will have to let me know. And I have to get caught up on our heart journal, our heart whispers journal. I'm gonna get caught up on that too. A little behind on that, so. But it will be okay. Okay, got that one. And then I have a couple of these that I had to piece together. I couldn't believe I did that. I was like, very first one, Liz, and you totally messed it up. Totally. But I think it's going to work out just fine. There's only two of them. And I totally jacked up. So... Okay, there we go. We got our lines drawn corner to corner. So now let me place that right there. And now we take our A. Okay, we're make we're making flying geese. That's what we're making. That is what we're making. We are making flying geese. So let's do and these are big old flying geese. And I like to orient Oh, good. Y'all can see so much better. When I sew, when you're sewing on the line like this, I like to, and you see me spin my fabric, I like to orient my fabric 
so that I'm sewing on the part of the, the fabric that I'm gonna cut off. And I always sew to this side, the part that I'm going to cut off, just a little bit, maybe a thread width, sometimes a little bit more than that. And I can't sew straight, so y'all just forgive me. And there's actually on this Bernina foot, this is a 97D foot, there, this little thing, usually I can line that up with my drawn line and it gives me perfect every time. Perfect. It makes, it makes it perfect. Like when I flip it back, it, it's perfect. Anyway, that's my little trick. And the only thing is, is this foot does tend to get caught, caught on that. Hey, come on in. What you do? All right, guys, that was my dad. He stepped in for a second. So here we go. Dad's on his way to go get some uh, dirt for the garden. So are y'all ready for the uh, eclipse? Is everybody ready? Here in Arkansas, where I live, we live in the path of totality. So they're talking about the traffic and everything's gonna be terrible and that, you know, should have got prepared and got extra groceries and blah, blah, blah. Me, me and my husband, we don't eat that much, so I had plenty of groceries. But, um, yeah, the traffic's supposed to be horrible. I brought my laptop home. If it's as, if the traffic is as bad as they say it's going to be, I was like, I'll just work remotely. You know, just in case. I get up in the morning and it's terrible, then I'm not going. So, this is a bonus quilt project that I'm working on. This little black, it's called Bees and Blooms. And um, it was something that I thought we might have done together, but I ended up using Lori Holt's book to kind of um, figure out how I wanted to do the quilt. So it's, I can't share. Did I just bump the camera? Sorry, it's right here at my forehead. So I can't share any of the cutting instructions, so I apologize. That's what that is. I'm, I'm using them as my leaders and enders. Okay, so when I was telling you about sewing to this side of the piece that you're going to cut off, and then when you fold your fabric back, it lines up, if I can get it. And this one is one that I pieced, so, but it lines up perfectly every time. So I'm going to trim these off quarter of an inch. I like to check. I like to check mine. Somebody's got their car alarm going off. Okay. I do like to check mine before I trim them and press them. See how perfectly that lines up? Perfect. What'd I do here? I think I boot-booed here. Well, I did it the opposite direction, but it doesn't really matter. And then that one goes like that. Okay. All right, let me trim these. I do have, can y'all, hopefully y'all can see. I'm gonna trim this one off. I got this little ruler in my sew sampler box and I really, really like this ruler. I keep it, and this is such big pieces that, I am just going to, I'm not going to waste those by throwing them away. And then I like to fold it back just to make sure get that out of the way. this through. Always close your... I have a bunch of these half square triangles. 
And I thought, well, I can do a scrappy something with them. I don't know what, but a scrappy something. I do starch my fabrics, so all my fabrics were ironed. I have this upside down, by the way, guys. I do have my fabrics uh, starched and ironed, and I do press with steam, and because they have been starched and ironed, and I use Best Press, not necessarily starch starch, but I love Best Press. Is my favorite. Okay, let me press these and I'm going to slide this up under here. Up under that. And I'm going to press these. I love the smell of the best press too. Like there's different scents. This is the blue kind, whatever the blue kind is. And I really like this. I like the lilac too, or lavender, not lilac, it's lavender. I really like the smell of it too. Now we are all, pre oh, I found my pressing block. And this is, it's called a clapper, a quilter's clapper. That, ooh, my husband built me this and it is a 12 by 12. And it's the one I use, I use them. I love them. You get the nice flattest blocks. Okay, so I did press. So I set my seam and then I pressed my seam to one side and then I also pressed my seam open because we're going to have a lot of fabric that's going to come together in one spot. And that will make very thick seams. I'm gonna put this down in my lap. Okay. You come over here.
this way, corner to corner. I know I have this on my machine, but yet I still draw. I just do better with drawing lines. I need to take this off. I really do. I do much better with drawing lines. I just can't seem to get the hang of that. I don't know. Is it just me? Is anybody else out there the same way? There we go. Whoop, wrong way. There we go. These I'm just going to set over to the side. All right. And then I like, again, I like to take a look. Perfect. Okay, I'm going to iron these. We're going to trim them all first. Then I'll iron. We got to spend some time with our new grandbaby yesterday. Um, he, he's so tiny. He's just so, so tiny. But we had a really enjoyable day yesterday. Again, I check. I like to check. I'm the most horrible person for never remembering to close my rotary cutter. We did. We had so much fun yesterday with the baby. compared to the other ones. It's not actually backwards. I just sewed it a little differently. Just a little. Put that up under there. All right, now press these, set the seam and press. Sorry, I kind of leave you guys over there while I'm pressing. I just didn't have enough room for everything right there in that one little area. I figured, I figured you probably wanted to see me so way more than you wanted to watch me press. So next on our list, okay, we have all of our units done. So the next Oh, this is partial seams. I have never done partial seams. Okay, 
So we're going to get to practice this together because I have never ever done partial seams before. So this is going to be interesting. <laughs> so we take that. All right. So we're gonna lay our quilt out. We're gonna take A, let's see. Yep, that one goes that way. And then this one goes this way. This one goes that way. And that one goes that way, like that. I think I've got it right. All right. So you sew, referring to figure B, So you join Okay, so All right, I'm going to move these down kind of So this goes to this one like this and it says that you leave about 2 inches Leave about two inches. Okay, so, oh, here it is. I'm gonna mark two inches because, let's where's my pencil? Where was, where's my thingy my bob I was using to mark with you? Where's, where's it at, guys? Where'd I put it? Do y'all know where I put it? Come here, little pencil, or little mark, right here it is, I found it. So, I am actually going to mark, we're gonna stitch from there down, okay? I'm gonna put that right there. Now, I still never remember where I put it. So let's do, actually, no, I didn't. I can, no, because my seam allowance wouldn't be right, would it? So we're going to start right about there. And I think I am gonna take one little back stitch. I'm gonna stitch that, okay. Let's send one of our bonus pieces through. I said I have never done partial seams before. So this quilt is going to be a different beast for me. I've seen them done before. I've seen, you know, other people do them before, but I have, I have never done them. Ah, come off of there. These are not the sharpest scissors. There we go. Work good for trimming threads. Okay, so, and then finger press away from B. So we're gonna pr finger press towards A, like that, okay? Now we need to do, so you work counterclockwise. So C, all right, so if that one goes that way, that one goes, so there's A, B, C, or D, they call them this one D. This one is C, this one right here. That points down. All right. Actually, this should have been up here. Y'all give me one minute. <laughs> it's showing connecting it. I'm confused. I'm so confused. The directions aren't the greatest, but it's showing God. 
what's the worst I have to do? Tear it out. <laughs> so I'm going, this is going to go here like this. See how quickly this goes? You could piece a bonus quilt together in no time. Scissors. Just see what it, there, there. Just see what I did with my scissors. Okay. And I'll be ready to put the second half on most of those. Okay, so now. Oh, I think it's right. I think that goes. I'm not sure, guys. I'm not sure. Okay. And then you do D. So then you do this one here, like this. Even though it has pictures, this is. Um, I was pressing my seams open. However, you know what? Let me, I'm gonna stop right here because I was pressing my seams open. I'm just gonna trim that off and then let me pull this off because I wanna press this. I wanna press this seam open. And yeah, I'm using the scissors that don't cut nothing to pull that off. <laughs> Let me press this right quick. Let's set the seam. And I have my stitch length down to do my seams open. I do my stitch length down to 1.95. And you could go even smaller. I mean, you could go smaller than that. Whoops, if you wanted to. That would just be totally, totally up to you. There we go. Pressing is the key to a beautiful block. It is. Perfect. Okay, so this is our partial seam. So we got that one, and now we want this one to go this way. So let's go ahead and reattach it, and then we'll. I'm not going to worry about a starter. Oh, yeah, that's much better. I have more than one of these uh, bonus projects going on. This is a gift. This one is a gift for a very dear friend of mine whose birthday is in May. So I'm just trying to get that one. I put the other one off to the side for the moment so I can work on getting that one done. It's beautiful. Okay. So now, what I 
thing happens is that we sew this one to this partial one and then we can reattach the and then we can attach that how about those veins that's pretty cool isn't it so not as difficult as um I was making it out to be. I don't know about y'all, where y'all live at, but it is hot here today. I have on like fuzzy pajama bottoms. Because, I mean, it was cooler this morning. It's like 80 degrees out there. It was cold yesterday. It was so cold. Or to me, it was cold. And then today, it's uh, warm and very humid, which we're supposed to get some storms. Am I recording? Yeah. Okay. We're supposed to get some storms uh, this week. block on there for just a second. It just pulls some of that heat out and helps to have a nice, beautiful flat block. All right, guys, look at this. All right, so now we just, okay, this is what we have. The partial seam, uh-oh, I knocked some of my stuff in the floor. Give me one second, let me pick it up. Okay, so here's our partial seam. So we're just going to flip this over like like this and we're gonna start right there i'm gonna try to start right there i'm gonna raise this up bring my needle up i'm going to start right there and it matches up golly that is like matching up perfection matching perfection guys there we go. I mean, perfection. I had to pick the most difficult, <laughs> the most difficult one. Oh, there was. Oh my gosh. And I have quite a few more. Pro I've bought a few kits, a few quilt kits um, that we're going to be doing together too. While I was off with surgery and was shopping, I couldn't do anything else. I didn't feel like sewing there for a little while. Now, it was kind of hard to set the seam on this one, so I'm not doing that. turned out so pretty. It might not be exactly like it's supposed to be, but I think it turned out pretty. Can y'all see that? I hope you can. I don't think y'all can see that. Let me see about scooching you up just a little bit. There you go. Can y'all see that now? 
it turned out so pretty. Okay, so we have just a few more things to do, completing the block. So now, that turned out so pretty. The only difference is that my block is on the lower half and it looks like theirs is on the upper half because this was slid over. I think that's the difference and it doesn't matter which way I turn it. I don't know. It looks right because these should be in the middle of each. Anyway, we're going with it. We're going with it. Okay, so now the next is easy peasy. We have two and a half. Well, I'm not supposed to tell y'all, am I? These are two and a half inch squares. I mean, it's kind of obvious what they are. So we are going to do, we're going to pair these together. Okay. Then one more. I think for what I don't know. This is my first really block the like I purchased. I got that crooked, didn't I, when I cut it. So this is like the first time I've done a block of the month where you're sent the fabric each month. I think it's an awful lot of money for what you get. Is it fun? Absolutely. It would be really fun if it was like, a, I've never done a mystery quilt so that's going to be my next thing is a mystery quilt i've never done one of those and i wanted to do the p pmq i think it's the puzzle mystery quilt um i want to do that i don't know that i'll get in on it this year i think it's too late i have to check and see and all of their colorways are just about sold out. And, um, especially the ones, I looked at it at the beginning of the year and was, and was like, I don't know, you know, I was having the health problems and, you know, I wasn't sure. I just wasn't sure that that's what I wanted to do. So, so I didn't, obviously. And now it's like, oh, I don't know. Do I want to do that? Is my big fat head in the way? Does my big fat head get in the way? <laughs> Y'all can tell me. <laughs> oh gosh. And then let me. Oh, I could have done, I could have done this. Oops, I think. Yeah, white, green, white, green. Okay, guys, so I thought I was recording and apparently I was not because my phone ran out of memory and I used my phone to record on. And good thing too, because I had to take this apart and redo it three times before I finally got it right. So I spared you. <laughs> I spared y'all that. So, uh, now we're just going to attach this to this, like this. Sew it down, quarter of an inch. Sometimes I think the universe is trying to say, this is not meant for you, Liz. Not meant for you.
Oh my goodness. All right, now. I think I'm gonna do spaghetti for supper tonight. That's what I think I'm gonna cook. Sketty. Sketty, sketty, sketty. All right. Put that right there. All right, let's press this. Press it open. So my iron turned itself off. My uh, mom and dad stopped by for just a second and I was gone long enough away from the iron that, I turn that it turned itself off. So give it just a second to heat up. And then those. Alright, so my block, I don't know if y'all can see that or not, but the block is now finished. My work, and that's block number one. Block number one is now finished. So, turned out really, really cute. And I didn't lose my point. Alright guys, I will uh, meet you back here for block number two. And until then, have a great week. Bye for now.